what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'll be doing a hair experiment and as you all know i love doing that over here on my channel the other day i went to the market to buy random stuff and i came across this super curl booster and it says it's for resistant hair and i was like hmm got to try this one and then yeah some vinegar to act as a diluter for the chemicals in the curl boosting serum and then I have my Ultra C Leave-In Conditioner, which is amazing, by the way. Go check it out. If you haven't bought it yet, support your girl. Buy it. I'll leave the link down in the description box, as always. So here is the hair which I'm going to be using for this experiment. And as always, number one rule we're dealing with hair is brush, 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 brush. Like, it has to be tangle-free. If not, whatever you're doing is not going to work. So for this video, I have two different samples of hair. I have this really, really black hair that I'm going to use. And then I have this somewhat natural color, one B-ish kind of color going on. So that I have like, I know this in my kitchen in my experiment. And then for the experiment, I'm going to use some flexi rods. And I'm just jumping right into the video. So they some use some leave-in conditioner and I just applied to the hair and then now I'm brushing and detangling and moisturizing and just doing all the good stuff you do with hair like hello moisturize and condition hair. Uh, and then I'm going to wrap it around with my flexi rod. Again, like I said, always, always brush hair, brush, brush, brush. And I'm going to wrap it around with my flexi rod and I'm going to keep it aside and mark this as test A, leave-in conditioner. Moving on to the second test, which is going to be my test B. It's the curl cream, curl booster serum. <laughs> The curl boosting serum and i'm just going to pour that into my hands because i don't know what kind of chemicals were in the hair i just feel like the safer thing to do is actually use gloves for this procedure as you see i go ahead and i wear gloves so that i can work properly with my two hands and then i'm just going to put it all over the hair and then i'm going to take my hairbrush and i'm going to brush 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 i'm going to separate it into two as i did with the other one one is test and the other one is control i don't know if that's how they label it but i've watched a lot of forensic movies so i'm just getting into the terminology any who's this so um rapid 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 into a flex rod and i'm doing i'm waiting for tight curls for both of the hair because like for both of the test samples test a and test b because i want to see how it works and then you're going to set it aside for a whole day 24 hours so that they can dry the next thing okay so the first thing we're going to be testing is freeze control if you do not know what freezes in hair is when you have curly hair those small tiny strands that are really stubborn that just always want to get out of the curl pattern that is what we call freeze so first stop i'm going to be unraveling the curl serum the curl booster and this is how the curls look curls are like mwah, chef's kiss and as you can see already it doesn't really have freeze but i'm going to go ahead with the comb to just make everything more dangerous to increase chances of the freeze and then i'm going to go ahead with the leave-in conditioner and then i'm going to go ahead with a comb and then i'm going to brush it out as you can see with the leave-in conditioner there is quite a lot of freeze like you can see the freeze i can see the freeze you can see the freeze and then we are going to just set it aside and put them side by side so i can actually see which has more freeze and which is more freeze control also i do feel like at the end of the day it comes down to the hair type and how it works but also i do feel like the curl serum may be onto something second test is water resistance now we're testing how well the curls hold when there is water like when you put it in water when you take it swimming okay so here is my bowl of water and i'm just going to dip 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 the conditioner first and then dry with the towel and then i'm going to add some vinegar into the water and then i'm going to add it i'm going to put the curl booster serum into the bowl of water and this is what they look like as you can see the curl serum holds curl pretty well while the conditioner mm, kind of loses its curl there i'm mean, going to take it a step further and remember the control this is what this was for so right now i'm mean, going to put the control into the water 
that is the curl serum and i'm just going to dip in water and take it out and dry it with a towel i'm going to repeat the same process for the leave-in conditioner to see how well they deal with water a few hours after and this is what we have as you can see my conditioner has totally straightened out it isn't giving like the curly vibes while the curl serum is still struggling for some i don't know for some sort of curl definition i don't know it's probably like it should be right now or something starting off with the living conditioner this is what we have i've unraveled it and i'm just coming through my fingers yes you can definitely see the freeze but this is way 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 nicer than before and also the curls are still popping after dipping it in water and then again i'm just going to go in with my curl serum experiments and remove it from the flex zero i'm going to unwrap it and the curls look together and it looks nice i also just want to apologize for not being in focus i don't know like i lost my skill of where the camera was and it was really hard not to include this part but you can see like from the outskirts of the video it actually looks nice curl retention it's 100 percent and it looks extremely lovely like i love it curl definition definitely the next and final test is the curl retention and this is to see how well your curls hold. Uh, so I'm going in with my curl serum first and I'm just going to apply some curl popping hydrating mist on it. And this is basically a hair splash that conditions your hair and maintains curl pattern and enhances curl pattern. It's really lovely. Like smells great works great i love it uh so i'm going to spray it on the hair and then i'm going to go in with the comb and i'm going to brush it as you can see my curls are holding up they look nice they look good they look refreshing i think i think i'm getting some sort of a water wave kind of texture and honestly it's not bad i don't feel bad about it so we move this actually looks really really great and lovely so the curls are definitely holding up next i'm going to go in with the leave-in conditioner and as before i'm going to spray it with some cross popping hydrating mist and then i'm going to brush the hair through and i honestly just love the way the curls come out it's it's really amazing and again like i said before the curls held up and i don't know if it's the hydrating mist or it's actually just that the curls did a better job but as you can see from the two experiments the hair actually did great so i do feel like the curl booster actually works so maybe you may want to use the curl booster or maybe you want to use leave-in conditioner whichever one is fine this is the end of the video as always don't forget to subscribe leave a comment down below follow me on my socials i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye